it's Halloween and I thought oh I'm doing really well this morning I'm up I'm getting out for a run completely forgot the clocks had gone back and it was actually an hour later it's because everything automatically updates my watch updates my phone updates my computer updates it's only like the manual clock in the kitchen told me that it was actually an hour later than I thought my uh, my watch took ages to find the satellites as well when I set out this morning is that a is that a GMT thing? I don't know very strange it's soaking wet can't climb outside so I'm gonna go for a longer hillier muddier wetter super easy jog so let's just see what we can see see the colors like like these Remember, there's nothing wrong with running super easy. You don't need to maintain a pace unless you're training for <laughs> a specific thing, a specific pace. Oh, I'm so wet. But Halloween is probably my, I don't know, it's one of my favorite parts of the year. Maybe I've always been a little macabre, or maybe it's the first feast of the winter feasts. Maybe it's the first, you know, a sign of a new season sign when usually I can take it a bit easier in terms of training and it's a very pretty time of year before it becomes very bleak for example that clock change means that now every time I cycle home from work it's going to be dark I'm going to need my big lights on for the cycle path through the woods all the way through until March so it, you know it signifies a significant change and I've had a couple of days off this week because it's been half term holidays which has been really nice and relaxed couldn't really be asked to make a vlog because it's been so <laughs> nice and relaxed um so I'm back to full on Monday back to zoom anatomy in the lab and it reminded me of what I've actually gained from having to teach anatomy through zoom with all of my colleagues and my clinical colleagues from the lab it means that I have seen everybody's teaching because I've run it all I've seen what everybody says and how they teach that's been particularly interesting for me for a number of reasons but I'll pick out three now one even though I wrote the course with my colleagues we wrote the anatomy teaching we organized it all I now have a much better understanding of what is actually taught what people say to the students what the students get through the year and that leads into number two I can better signpost signposting is a daft academic term that means that I can point students to other things in the teaching so when I'm teaching something I can say oh and Mr Barry will cover this in this week when he talks about this so students know it's going to come up again and they're going to get more detail ah, and this is only the the gentle climb The advantage of wearing a cap is it keeps the rain off. The disadvantage is you can't see branches because the top of your vision's cut off. So you bang your head occasionally. Honest, this is a path. This is paths often become streams as well. Definitely gets more technical in the autumn.
Well, what are you going to find until you go home? And then there's the childlike thing of going outside and getting muddy. But you know, really, I'm being an adult, you know, really. Honest, not doing a. Not having fun, no, no, no. Excellent. <laughs> Ooh, top of the hill, downhill. So, the third most important thing that I've got from watching people teach is I've learned so much. I've been listening to and watching people who use anatomy in their day to day clinical jobs to describe why they know it, how they use it, what is important to them, what's likely to be important to the students. So, I've listened to surgeons describe how they rewire muscles to nerves after the roots of the brachial plexus have been torn out of the spinal cord. You know, real cases, things they've actually done. And I've seen general surgeons describe how to recognise an inflamed appendix, how to find it, how to remove it, how to care for the patient. And I've seen breast surgeons describe how to do a lymph node clearance when removing a breast, the reasons for doing it, and the problems that might cause for the patient in the future. And of course, because I've learned all this, I'm passing it on to you through my videos because the more I learn, the more interested I become, the more I read, the more questions I ask of my clinical colleagues, and all of that comes together to make hopefully more interesting videos. And don't forget, one of the main reasons I make these videos is because they keep me interested. Right, um, I've got to go and give some sweeties out to trick-or-treaters that are knocking on my door.